course, I'm the Spanish uh, former rally boy from Tapas Revolution, and today I'm going to show you how to cook arroz del señore, which translates as a naked seafood paella from my latest cookbook, The Spanish Made Simple. Actually, it doesn't translate as a naked seafood paella, it translates as the Lord's paella. And why is that? Because back in the day, the lords of the land didn't like to fiddle around peeling prawns or mussels. They wanted all to be clean and neat, ready for them to just dig in with a fork and a spoon and, and eat their paella from the pan. So this is definitely a recipe for those who doesn't like to make their hands dirty. But without further ado, let me run you through the ingredients. We're going to need a dried Nora pepper, garlic, tomato, Spanish onion, extra virgin olive oil, sweet smoked paprika, rock salt, cut chicks, prawns a squid, and a superior quality Spanish rice from my shop. As well, some saffron, which we're going to crumble into our shellfish stock and we're going to let it infuse over low heat. Now, start preparing the ingredients. First, finely chop the Spanish onion, and peel and finely chop the garlic. Remember that for the full recipe, you can go to my website, thespanishchef.com, where you can find all the ingredients and measurements. Now it's time to dice in about one to two centimeter pieces our squid. As you can see, it's fresh, it has the tentacles. So just make sure that the pieces are more or less the same size, so they all cook evenly. Deceit the Nora pepper, and if you haven't been able to find one, which I understand that it's quite difficult to find outside of Spain, source in a Middle Eastern grocery shop some dried sweet pepper flakes, which will do the job just as good. Now grate your tomato, and as you can see, it peels by itself as the skin remains between your fingers. And we're going to dice the cut chicks in about two centimeter pieces and do exactly the same with your peeled prawns. Comes without saying that I made the shellfish stock with the heads and shells of those very same prawns. And you can see the recipe in other of my videos on the channel. Now, Start heating up the paella pan. If you don't have a paella pan, you can use any wide frying pan. Put the extra virgin olive oil and add the Nora pepper, which we're going to fry for about two minutes on both sides. As soon as you start smelling the Nora pepper, which is quite fragrant, believe it or not, add your squid and fry it for a good three minutes before we add the finely chopped onion and we season it with a bit of salt. You'll see that some liquids will come out from the squid itself. So just let it reduce down and probably it'll take about eight minutes until it starts frying again. At that point, when it has a nice golden color, both the onions and the squid, we're going to add the garlic. If you didn't add the Nora pepper, add your flakes now and about 30 seconds later, fry your paprika. As you know, it burns really quickly, so now we are going to deglaze with the grated tomatoes and reduce it down for a good three, four minutes until the tomato has formed a paste, just like when you cook an Indian curry and it starts splitting from the oil. At that very moment, it's when you need to add the rice and sear it, stirring it constantly for a good two to three minutes. This will make our rice stand better and a little taller at the end of the recipe. And pour your very hot infused shellfish stock with that lovely color and aroma, bring it to its highest heat and let it simmer for 10 minutes on high heat add your prawns, add your pieces of cod chicks, and then let it cook on medium to low heat for the remaining 10 minutes until it's ready. And it has formed a beautiful socarrat, which is the fried rice that appear on the bottom, and which to me is the best part. And here you have it, one of the Spain's best gastronomical creations. To me, this is up there on the top five of the Spain's gastronomy, undoubtedly. 
I hope you enjoyed the recipe. I hope you give it a try. Remember, if you want to buy Spanish ingredients or to find the recipe, go to my website, thespanishchef.com. Otherwise, you can find it on my latest book, Spanish Made Simple. And I'm not too sure which one looks better. They are very similar. Undoubtedly, Martin Poon, the photographer, took a way better picture than I did myself. But anyway, that's how it goes. Familia, see you soon. Enjoy and let me give this a try. All the best. Bye bye. If you enjoy the video, please like it, share it and subscribe.